Situated along the sandy shores of Lake Erie in northern Ohio, the city of Sandusky has been a popular summertime destination for over a century. Known for amusement parks, beaches, and islands, Sandusky saw its population boom in the late 1800s when it became a railroad hub for the region. Buckle up and join us as we take a look at the best things to do in Sandusky, Ohio. Cedar Point No trip to Sandusky is complete without a visit to Cedar Point, known as the roller coaster capital of the world. Spanning 364 acres along Lake Erie, Cedar Point holds the record for the most roller coasters in a single amusement park, with 18 massive coasters. The showcase coaster is Millennium Force, which remains one of the tallest and fastest steel coasters on the planet. At a staggering 310 feet, Millennium Force's initial descent reaches 93 miles Miles per hour, subjecting riders to intense G-forces. Steel Vengeance offers the world's tallest hybrid coaster, combining wood and steel elements, sending you 90 miles per hour down twisted tracks and inverted loops. For pure speed, Top Thrill Dragster will rocket you from 0 to 120 miles per hour in under 4 seconds thanks to its hydraulic launch system. Riders scream through a 420-foot tall helix before a winding descent. Cedar Point offers other high-thrill roller coasters like Raptor with dizzying inversions and corkscrews or Gatekeeper with its winged seats extending outside the track. Tour Historic Downtown After screaming yourself hoarse at Cedar Point, make the short drive to downtown Sandusky for a leisurely stroll through blocks filled with historic 19th century architecture. Sandusky's downtown showcases many beautifully preserved buildings from its heyday as a wealthy port city in the 1800s. Start your walking tour along Columbus Avenue, the main thoroughfare. You'll find ornate brickwork and exquisite detailing on Italian buildings like the State Theater Center for the Arts and Soldier Memorial Building. On nearby Water Street, pop into Follett House Museum, contained within an 1847 Greek Revival mansion that outlines the city's history inside. Over 300 historical buildings exist in Sandusky's downtown across various architectural styles like Victorian, Gothic Revival, and Neoclassical. Duck down the charming alleys and side streets to spot more architectural gems. Grab an espresso at the ornate patio of Patio di Amici and soak in the ambiance of Sandusky. Sandusky's past. With so much preserved history, downtown Sandusky acts as an outdoor architectural museum waiting to be explored. Lake Erie Islands For a serene, natural retreat, hop on a ferry from Sandusky to the Lake Erie Islands. Located just miles offshore, this archipelago of islands promises a tranquil escape into nature with opportunities for hiking, cycling, kayaking, and sightseeing. The most popular island to visit is Put-in Bay on South Bass Island. Start at Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial, commemorating the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812, which you can climb for panoramic views. Next, wander the island on a bike or golf cart, stopping at attractions like the Stonehenge Estate or Butterfly House. Don't miss the world's longest bar at Beer Barrel Saloon. Nearby Kelly's Island offers a quieter, less developed escape. Hiking trails wind through thick forests and along limestone bluffs. Check out the unique glacial grooves made by moving glaciers or sunbathe on the island's sandy beaches. Merry-Go-Round Museum In addition to being located in a historic 1905 building, the Merry-Go-Round Museum lets you reminisce about old-time amusement park rides through its impressive collection. See intricate hand-carved and hand-painted wooden animals dating between 1885 and 1930, from horses and pigs to zebras and dragons. Antique mechanism, organs, and rounding boards demonstrate the craftsmanship involved. The star attraction is the immaculately restored 19. 1939 Carousel, featuring 42 animals and three chariots twirling around as the original Wurlitzer organ plays the soundtrack. After exploring the exhibits, take a few timeless spins on the carousel yourself. Sheldon Marsh State Natural Area For outdoor enthusiasts, Sheldon Marsh State Natural Area borders Sandusky Bay and Lake Erie, safeguarding one of the last remaining expanses of marshland in the region. The wetland ecosystem provides crucial habitat for over 300 documented bird species, from great blue herons to American coots and black terns. Five miles of hiking trails and wooden boardwalks allow you to traverse through the marshes to prime bird-watching spots. Keep your eyes peeled along 
along the swaying cattails for bitterns and moorhens stalking the waterways. A tall observation platform grants panoramic views across the entire marsh, where you can witness waterfowl taking flight. You can also spot white-tailed deer, turtles, and butterflies. Bring your binoculars and field guide to identify the myriad wildlife inhabitants that call Sheldon Marsh home. African Safari Wildlife Park for a unique wildlife experience, drive your own vehicle through the African Safari Wildlife Park to observe exotic animals from six continents roaming expansive habitats. As you slowly drive the three-mile loop passing wetlands, forests, and grasslands, a diversity of animals will approach your car for close-up encounters. Roll down your windows to hand-feed a curious ostrich pecking its head into your car. A towering giraffe may lean in and wrap its 18-inch tongue around lettuce leaves. Get amused by the grunts of rhinos and high-pitched squeals of guinea hogs begging for treats as you drive past. You'll have to dodge zebras and water buffalo crossing the road, much like a real African safari. Baboons might climb onto your car hood to peer at you through the windshield. Whichever way you look, some funny critter will capture your attention. Don't forget to spot American animals too, like bison roaming the plains. Fremont. Just 25 minutes south, the city of Fremont makes an ideal side trip for history buffs, with its wealth of museums and historic homes. The highlight is the Rutherford B. Hayes Presidential Library and Museums, dedicated to America's 19th president. Tour his grand 31-room estate fronted by lavish gardens. The museum contains Civil War relics, presidential artifacts, and insights into Hayes' life. After exploring Hayes' world, head downtown to see the National Register of Historic Places site at Birchard Public Library. The site contains a museum exhibiting the area's history through artifacts and displays across an 1825 building and Victorian home. Art lovers will appreciate the Fremont Fine Arts Center, housed in a gorgeous 1904 Renaissance Revival building. Also downtown is the Hayes Home, the modest family home of President Hayes before he entered office. Costumed guides provide fascinating insights on what his childhood was like. With this trio of homes and museums, Fremont offers a deep dive into the past. Kalahari Water Park Kalahari Water Park spans over 173,000 square feet of aquatic fun indoors and outdoors. Families with kids will love splashing away at this enormous water play zone. The indoor park stays a comfortable 84 degrees year-round and features fun slides like the Tanzanian Twister with looping turns in the dark. Wade through the Nairobi's mine shaft where geysers erupt, soaking you with surprise bursts of water. Float along the 750-foot-long endless river, passing a waterfall cave on your way, and much more. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Sandusky? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.